A reaction continues to pour in to yesterday's preliminary ruling from the International Court of Justice on a case that accuses Israel of committing genocide against Palestinian people in Gaza. The UN's top court ordered Israel to prevent death, destruction and any acts of genocide in Gaza, but stopped short of ordering an end to Israel's military offensive that's completely destroyed the territory. The ICJ also instructed Israel to provide basic aid to people in Gaza and to push any incitement of genocide and to punish that. The ruling also includes direction for Hamas to release all hostages. For more on the ICJ's preliminary ruling, we're joined live by John Allen, former Canadian ambassador to Israel and Spain, and a senior your fellow with the Monk School of Global Affairs. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let's get right into this. You know, some people were disappointed there was no call for a ceasefire, while others say provisions ordered by the ICJ essentially amounts to one. So what's your take on this ruling? Well, I don't think the measures uh, that were ordered provisionally uh, amount to a ceasefire. Uh, they do call, uh, as you mentioned, uh, on Israel to take steps to uh, minimize, reduce um, uh, death and injury. They do call on Israel to increase humanitarian assistance. Um, and they do, of course, uh, call on uh, Israel to prevent um, and punish any incitement. Uh, they also call uh, for uh, the hostages to be released and express concern about those. But this does not uh, in any way amount to a ceasefire. Um, and uh, I think uh, uh, anybody that suggests that is, uh, is probably uh, exaggerating a bit. Um, uh, we will see uh, Israel has to provide a report within a month, and we'll see what Israel uh, decides to do in that regard. There's sort of mixed messages coming out of Israel, some suggesting that um, uh, they don't agree with the court's provisional uh, orders, um, and uh, we'll have to see whether they actually take steps uh, to meet those uh, requests, demands, uh, or whether they come back saying everything we're doing is consistent with international law and uh, we don't have to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Well, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been very vocal even before this preliminary ruling was put out that the ICJ wouldn't be stopping them from their ultimate goal of destroying Hamas by any means necessary. Now, considering the ICJ has no enforcement power, do you think this will change anything on the ground for people in Gaza? Well, the ICJ has no enforcement power, but if uh, Israel were to blatantly disregard um, its orders, uh, either now or subsequently, then the UN Security Council um, does have powers uh, to uh, enforce rulings, um, although the United States is there and they might well veto any, uh, any resolutions in the Security Council. Is this going to change anything on the ground? I think uh, I'm hoping um, that there will be uh, more interest in increasing the humanitarian assistance at a minimum. Um, this, of course, has been requested by the U.S. for uh, a, at least a month uh, more. And the U.S. has also requested that, um, that Israel take more care in, in preventing uh, deaths and injuries another part of the provisional order. There's some suggestion that Israel is moving to a more targeted approach, although last week saw a considerable number of deaths and injuries around on Yunus. So um, I think we're going to have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Well, we've seen a lot of members of the Knesset, the Israeli prime minister himself, using a lot of language, according to South Africa, that constitutes genocidal language. And that was one of the ICJ's preliminary rulings. So what can we expect to see when it comes to enforcement of stopping that genocidal rhetoric in the Israeli government, for example? What could that enforcement look like? Well, the uh, attorney general, um, a subsequent uh, to... Um, the filing of the case has indicated in Israel that um, she will be bringing cases uh, to prevent and punishment, uh, incitement and hate speech. Uh, so I think they got the message quite clearly you know, that part of the reason they were ending up before the International Court 
was because of statements um, by the uh, chief of defense staff and by certain ministers, minister of education, even by the president who said that all Gazans were responsible for uh, the Hamas attacks. So I, th I think Israel's gotten the message on that. Uh, I understand uh, the prime minister has told his ministers not to be commenting on the ICJ ruling, although some have. But I think the incitement uh, will probably uh, be significantly reduced or stopped. <clears throat> As you say, we all wait for uh, that writing down in a month's time. Uh, John Allen, former Canadian ambassador to Israel and Spain and a senior fellow with the Monk School of Global Affairs, thank you for joining us this morning and sharing your insights with our viewers. Thank you, Edith.